Hey guys, welcome to the channel Cornichon here. Um, today I show you a bit what is the DDL Ducati Data Logger. Um, thanks to my previous experience with 3D systems and on my previous BMW, I will show you a bit what it's like, how to use it, and how to connect and install. Enjoy, let's go! So first, the installation of the module. Um, so very simple, everything goes there. You just have this module to connect. So basically, there is a little cache here, a um, little plug to remove. The cable, you make it through. Uh, you just remove uh, the plate holder, uh, just connect to, uh, to the right cable. There is only one with just a little piece to remove. You just connect it, you plug it there, and you're done. Yeah, that's, that's, that's all you have to do on the bike. Okay, now. Bike on, for track use only, yes, because of the Akropovich. I don't know if that's how you guys pronounce it, but I like to put a little sh at the end. Okay, now go to the menu, configuration, track, and there you go down to DDL. You have it as well. As soon as you plug it, you have it. And then you can just choose the type of logging that you want. So always on, off, or track only. And the memory, you can just uh, erase it if you want, easy. And that's it. So yeah, a bit more simple than on the BMW where, um, at least mine in 2021, where you had to put a code in the bike. Um, I believe after that they had it like, um, from factory the, that code in the bike so you just had to buy the uh, the module but it's a bit more simple okay here. so now on the laptop um, first th first thing to do um, please do it that was not part of the first install that i that i had at the time so please check it maybe it has been updated but check it just to make sure it's done uh, so you go in parameters system uh, there you will go in advanced options for the stick logger and please make sure that you have uh, use an external decompressor and uh, install ms.net 6 runtimes if needed. That will allow the translation of the file to something that is understood by the, uh, by the analyzer. If you don't do that, the analyzer will not work. It will not uh, uncompress, decompress the, the files and you will just lose the data if you have already um, deleted it from the from the bike so it's a bit uh, yeah it's a bit a pity so make sure it's down and then you're good to go then how it works so yeah wi-fi connection you can do it with cable but wi-fi connection so very simple very when everything is set is very simple you just get close to the bike with the laptop and you just click on wi-fi download so yeah i will obviously put all the all the files are in the description just to show you how to install, how to connect the first time, make the adjustments, make the settings, uh, which file to, to download on the 2D website, and you're good to go. So you will select your logger, you will connect to it, you will have a bunch of files there. Okay, so it's very simple, you just select the one that you want, or you have a lot of options. So you can basically uh, delete after uh, download. If you want, you can unclick that and it will stay on, in the bike. You can mark all, unmark all, uh, here I will just select one just for to show you, let's say, just to show you. So you just click on download the marked files. You can also just uh, delete them. So when you click on that, it will launch the download of that on your laptop. If you've selected multiple files, obviously the global prog progression will be uh, reflecting at which file you are. But basically that's it. When done, up, launches all the sub-programs, decompressing, and it will automatically launch uh, the, the analyzer of the last file of, that you downloaded or of the file that you downloaded. Here, I just have um, an error message, but that's mainly because that was on the road. And it launches the analyzer with all the data. So I'm coming back to you to, to go a bit deeper in those. Okay, so welcome back on the laptop. My goal here would be to just guide you through the, the big steps that, that you need to know to use it, use that software. So. First, first of all, uh, you have three categories here, event measures analysis, measures we went through it with the Wi-Fi download and how to download the data. Now on event, that's where you will create your events. Okay, so here, 
everything for me is saved in race data so c drive race data that's really where you have uh, at least where i have all my my uh, logs let's say or my sessions my track days okay um, so you see some from the from the bmw um, you can choose another another folder you do as you want so create so create an event uh, you will name the event that will create a name um, then you can choose on closed track and if you select one so i don't know let's go to spa in belgium uh, which is there so that those are all the tracks that are registered in the logger okay so you see you will see the the layout of the track so obviously you have different layouts uh, the last one is this one um, if you select it you will have pre-registered let's say in your analysis all the the starting lines and so on so it can ease a bit the, anal the analysis okay but apart from that except creating a new name anyway you can always move your sessions you can move them easily going through race data see race data as as we just said you can take one you go there you take one folder of a session you move it to another folder so you can rearrange and, and and rework it afterwards that's that's not an issue now let's go to analysis what is interesting for us so you can in event on the three dots uh, something interesting you can see your lap times actually you can see the lap times here so you can navigate let's let's say through through your sessions and select one like that in different events if you know that you are only in that event you have all the sessions that you have put into that event so let's go to this one and click on analysis that's basically here reopening what we had before um, okay so just a quick round in that uh, in all those data so it can be frightening there is a lot of data it's it's basically a, a pro software so it's not user friendly in that sense but the good thing about it is that you double click on it you have that window that is coming if you expand it those are all the data that you can look at okay so you see there is a lot of data like for instance uh, active cylinder if you double click on it you will add it if you double click on it you will remove it and that's basically when you uh, the bike is switching from four to four to two cylinders okay um, and you can do that with, with all the data so what i'm looking at usually that's those data so the engine temperature uh, which is here if you click on one then the cursor will follow the curve or the data that you selected okay so you see it's moving to that one if i select now rpm so the engine uh, speed it will now follow the engine speed okay or uh, speed gps it will now follow the speed gps okay so it's when you're used to it it's it's easy to navigate and, and, and look at the data it's a bit of a learning curve um, selecting what you need to or what you want to look at okay so me i'm looking at engine temp just to make sure that everything is okay uh, on this bike you know that there is automatic braking so it's interesting to see the front brake drive pressure driver pressure so that's the pressure that the driver is giving and the front brake wheel pressure that the bike is giving uh, and you have the same for the rear brake which will be very interesting on the race tracks knowing that i don't use the rear brake on the on the race track and with the abs uh, in one on the track plus mode it's it's giving an automatic braking to help you turn through the, the corners so that will be really interesting to look at uh, then i'm looking at the gear so the gear in which you are in which you're driving uh, the lean angle so the yeah the lean angle uh, rpm throttle grip so that's the opening of the throttle it's sometimes kind of a good data to look at um, you might believe that you are full throttle and sometimes you're not so it's a good data to put on on, on fittings and uh, the speed gps as i was saying okay so then you in in that in that window you can move the window of analysis that you have you can also uh, hitting the control button and moving around you can expand or shrink it okay so um, helps to let's say find a slot a spot where you want to look at and then you can shrink it to the the very spot that you want to look at so you can look at the the real 
really the, the details of the data that you want. So for instance, if you shrink it a bit, you will see more details on the breaking here. Okay. So what was the front, the rear, and so on. So you see, for instance, here on that one, looking at the front pressure, so the front driver and bike pressure was pretty close, but uh, the, the rear pressure, so orange is the one I'm asking for, and yellow is the one that the bike is giving. So that, that's that's really interesting to see how the bike is, is managing the, the driving and giving you, or helping you, let's say. And that will be much more interesting on the racetrack than, than here on the road. What else, what else could I say? I believe that's the main things I wanted to talk about. Um, anyway, don't hesitate to ask questions, put comments, throw a like if you feel like it, uh, will help. Um, subscribe. Now, I'm not doing a lot of, vid of video in, uh, in English. Uh, I'm, sp I'm a French speaker, so I will speak French in most of them, and that will be mainly, uh, drive, mainly headed to, uh, to track days. No competitions, no, many track days. But if you're interested, just don't hesitate. If you have questions, don't hesitate, don't hesitate to throw them. Uh, ask me on, on my Instagram. Uh, we'll be happy to help or we'll try at least. But yeah, that's basically it. So I will leave you with, uh, with that. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it will help and, and, uh, and understand what is that, uh, what is that, that DDL system. Okay, that DDL system is pretty expensive, yes, but it's really complete. It's much more than just the lap times. It, it helps you for me. It helps you to go through the data, understand what's, what's, uh, what you do on the bike. It helps to put numbers and data on feelings sometimes. Uh, it, it's better than just, you know, basing on, base yourself on the, on the feelings. You might feel that you, you break the same, for instance, in two spots. And actually, when you look at the data, you break much more harder on one spot. So why don't you do it also on the other spot? That's kind of things that, that where you, you can, you can be helped by, by those kind of data for, at least for me, from my experience. So, um, hope you liked it. Uh, share the video if you believe it can help others. And, uh, well, if you feel like it, subscribe, follow me. I will discover the Ducati with uh, a lot of joy and uh, I'm really excited to to go on my first uh, track days uh, track day with it that uh, based on the feelings that I got after the break-in and with the the full exhaust system yeah that would be that would be crazy so enjoy till the next time take care of your close ones obviously and like I used to say in French never more than full speed tschüss